if you want to make amazing titles for your videos like this, then this is how you do it. All right, guys. So what we want to do is we want to make a cut of our first clip, our intro, where we're going to say the title. So in this, so in my example, it's going to be. If you want to make amazing titles for your videos like this, then this is how you do it. And then we're just going to take a cut here and we're going to delete this. I actually need to change the sequence settings so that this is in a real format. So I'm just going to go to 180. 1080 by 1920 hit OK and then obviously I need to scale this up so that it fits let's go to 180 just to make sure and I might just move it right a little bit because I'm not quite in the middle so now what we do is right click the first clip go to replace with After Effects composition now we're going to choose a place to save the composition so I'm going to go to my courses because this is part of my course and we'll just save this as amazing titles and boom. I wish in hindsight that I shot this a little bit differently because there's not really much going on in the background and my t-shirt doesn't make it pop out either. But there we go. Now we need to design the title. So I'm going to show you how to get some inspiration. So I like to go over to Instagram and find some of the best creators. So one which I like a lot is Travis Brown. So if we have a look, Travis has got a lot of these great sort of titles. So let's just click and have a look. So you can see he's got the title, but there's no animation on it. So we can just go one step further with this and we can make a title that actually animates in. Now we'll go into After Effects. We can go up to the rectangle and we can make a shape. Let's just make this one. I'm going to keep it orange. This is the orange I'm using for my brand. And then we can just align this shape. And we'll just work, focus on the design first. So I'm going to go. I can go amazing titles. And now if you click the two, if you click the text and the layer and then go align selection, you can actually align these up. So together. So what we might want to do is make titles as big as amazing. And then we'll drag this down a little bit. And I think it looks quite good to have them the same size so they kind of fit in a box. We'll go paragraph and we'll align to the left. And we can change one of the colors so we could go white like this. I actually don't think this orange is a great choice here for the background. So what I might do is change the text color to orange and then the background color to black because I think it's going to stand out more. There we go. Now if we want to adjust the rectangle without destroying the corners, if we actually scale like this, you can see it's going to make the corners a bit weird. So we're going to go down to rectangle path. We're going to click size and unclick the link here. And I think we need an exclamation mark here as well. And then we can just click on the title and we can just scale this down a little bit. And we can bring this up a little bit. Now all we need to do is hold shift, select our text and our layer and pre-compose. And we're going to call this amazing titles or title one, whatever you want to call it. Now you can see if we press any, if we rotate or any, make any changes, it's all changing from this little point in the middle. That's the anchor point. So what we want to do is press Y and we want to click that anchor point and drag it down. And actually if you hold control, you can, it will give you a line to keep it in the middle. You can also click this little button to collapse everything down so that your composition then moves to just being in this box. And now all you need to do is animate. So the way I like to do it is I go to Premiere Composer or Animation Composer, which will be either in the description or linked around this video, around this course, and we'll go to motion presets now if you haven't got this hit the link and go over to animation composer you might need to buy the 2d and 3d transitions i really like to use the 3d transitions position rotate and scale and you can see we get all these different preset animations and we can just press bottom in and just apply yes convert to a 3d layer and now we're going to get this animation 
that's not the one I wanted. Let's go back. Usually Animation Composer is going to make them 3D for you, but if not, click into your composition, make sure these 3D boxes are clicked. If we add the motion blur, turn on the motion blur. And then we can also go to browse and we can put out and we can add the out animation. So bonus tip, if you want to add, you can add some shape elements as well. So we're going to go to 2D special effects and we can just click add and add some electric on here. There's tons of these in animation composer. So we can go put this over it. Now, if we want to go a step further, we can add some shape elements so we could add some arrows. So I'm going to go for rotating this 45 degrees. We're going to scale it down to 25. And then we can duplicate this arrow, rotate it to 90 degrees. Nope, 125 degrees. Yep, and then we'll move this across to the right. And now we can make both of these arrows red. I think that would look quite scroll stopping. And we could probably both, we could probably make both of these a bit bigger as well. And now this is going to serve as the thumbnail for the video. So let's have a look. And we don't want it going, we don't want them going over the title. So I'm just going to move them a little bit. I might also change the color of the red, make this a little bit bolder. And we can also animate, we can also animate the arrows out. So let's just go T, select both, click T, keyframe the opacity. And as they go up to their final rest in place, we'll just bring the opacity all the way down. So now we get this. Might even have them going out a bit quicker. So let's just move these opacity keyframes back. And that's it. If we go back into Premiere Pro, you can see that this composition has taken over and we've got this. If you want to make amazing titles for your videos like this, then this is how you do it. If you want to make amazing titles for your videos like this, then this is how you do it. Alright guys, so I'm just going to quickly show you how if you're uploading your video to Instagram with these titles, you can actually use these as a thumbnail. So, I'm going to render this video out, just this short clip. I'm not actually going to upload it as the reel. I might even mess with the design. I might even make a short. I'm going to make a short and a reel from this lesson, I think. Uh, but let's just export this as real demo because I want to show you how to use the thumbnail. So I want to show you how you can add the thumbnail to your video. So to show you from the computer, I'm going to go over to this app called Insist. So this just lets me upload Instagram Reels from the computer. It's really good. I recommend it if you do this a lot. But I'm going to show you what I mean. And basically, if you're uploading from your phone, it's going to be exactly the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to click and I'm going to add a Reel. And then we're going to just select the Reel. I love this app. It just makes it really easy to upload from your computer. But there is one downside to it, which I'll show you now. So let's just get our real demo and click open. And now this is going to upload and look, it's automatically got the amazing titles. This isn't me looking my best. This is not even the best 
uh, background or anything. Uh, I wish I prepared a bit more, but I wanted to make this video. So change cover. So now you can see we can change the cover. So we've made the thumbnail with making the video. You can even go to frame and you can pick the exact frame. So we could just go, I want that little bit of lightning on there. And now if we click, uh, if we go back and then we go also share to feed, you can see that it's going to share it to the feed. The only thing you can't do on here, which you can do on your phone, is you can click crop profile image and you can move this up so amazing titles is in the middle. So I just wanted to give you that extra bit to show you why we're doing this and also what you can do. One more thing if you want to go a step further, suppose you want to create a design but it doesn't quite fit in the video so you just want to create a design in Premiere Pro and then use that as a thumbnail then all you do is you can find the frame that, find the frame that you want. So let's go here and then you just click this little camera icon and let's just select the folder and then just press OK. Now in that folder you can see we've got this still image and you can just upload this as your thumbnail. So that's everything guys. If you're watching on YouTube, I've got a full course on how to make Hormozy style reels. I'll leave a big fat discount in the description for you. Enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.